Welcome back to First Edition Chats with Nicole. I'm Nicole Boone. Well, she has the title of South Carolina Chef Ambassador, but most people know Chef Jamie Descalis as the owner of Johnny D's in Myrtle Beach. Jamie, it's so good to have you as my guest today. Thank you for having me. I'm always excited to come cook with you. I love it. Well, years <laughs> ago, some people may remember we did a cooking segment together, and since then you've been really busy. You've received the Chef um, Ambassador for South mm -hmm. Carolina title. You've published a cookbook, and you make autism awareness a priority in your life. You have been busy. Thank you. Yes, I have been, yes. <laughs> Talk about how what all has been going on in your life. Um, well, I came a long way since that first day. I know. Uh, I was, remember being so sick in here. Like, my stomach hurt so much, I was so nervous. We had and now, so much yeah, fun. We had so much fun. I made a Grecian omelet. Yes. I remember. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, it's been really great. Like, I love my time here in Myrtle Beach. It's been almost... I think we're hitting on 10 years in January. Wow. Yeah, so it's, been, it's been amazing. Yes. And talk about what it's like, it was, was required to be a South Carolina chef ambassador and what all you did during that time. So um, the Myrtle Beach uh, area chamber put me up for a nomination for it. Um, and then it went to the governor's desk and I was one of like the finalists. And then he did choose me based on how busy the restaurant was and you know how much I've worked with the chamber to like help tourism and the food, the for food tourism connection that they want to do here. And um, the, like the main requirement for South Carolina ambassador is just to kind of promote the state, promote the agriculture of the state, and you know make sure that your menu has items that are developed, uh, produced here in South Carolina. So it was a great opportunity for me to see what South Carolina had to offer. So um, you know, they I got to meet some vendors and different like um, Miss Sally from Sally's Greatest yeah. Jams and Syrups. I love her, and I met her, and now all three of the stores use all her syrups and, Wonderful. and, and her jams for some of our specialty items that we have on the brunch menu. Um, we All our vodka and liquor, most of the liquor comes from 1233 Distillery. Yeah. Um, our flour comes from Columbia and they make a flour, the grits. They make actually our waffle mix in bags now and bring it to us. And the flour, they have such a great product, the Adlu, uh, Allen Millen Brothers Company in mm -hmm. Columbia that um, it's made our waffles like. Amazing. Even more amazing because the flour is just so fine and refined and you can tell like when you have two different flowers in your hand, I can tell which one is theirs. You would know for I sure. Know, yeah. That's your so expertise. <laughs> it was really cool and like I got to meet um, the other chef ambassadors and they're just so knowledgeable. I learned so much from them. And me and uh, Chef Kevin especially and his wife were really good friends now. So That's it was great. like I got, you know, really good friends out of the deal too. What a treat though to be able to go all over South Carolina and see all of the products that are made and grown in South Carolina and to be able to implement mm -hmm. them in the restaurants in yours and then all yeah. across the state. That's really a, a quite the honor. Yeah. I know you enjoyed that. That's, that's awesome. Talk about your cookbook. So my what cookbook, makes it different? My cookbook, my cookbook, I made it so like the restaurant, like you have a lot of different foods and ingredients in the restaurant and you have to use them all so they don't go bad. So you have the freshest stuff for your customers. So I was like, what can I do to make my cookbook different? Because one of the biggest things that used to bother me when I made a recipe is you, okay, I want to make this recipe, cost you $60 to get all the ingredients. Oh my goodness. And then you don't use half of them again. You right. know, you buy a spice, you buy a butter, you buy a soy sauce, you buy, and then they all sit in your fridge and you don't use them. Right. So with my cookbook, there's a hundred recipes and there's 143 ingredients, I think. So every ingredient, get used multiple times in the cookbook. Gosh, that makes so much yeah. sense. Yeah, so I'm um, hoping like if you cook, if you cook a few dishes out of the cookbook, you can say, okay, what other um, recipes have this ingredient in it? And then you can kind of um, go, that way you can use, use yes. everything you buy. Yeah. I don't want anyone wasting stuff. And it's all simple ingredients. You can find it at your basic grocery store. So you're not looking for things yes. like have to Google and order off yeah. on Amazon. Yeah. And very simple spices that you probably already have in your house. So you don't have to spend money on those. So I just wanted it to be a little bit more functional. That makes perfect sense yeah. especially for someone like <laughs> me that is not a good cook. So yeah. you, that was helpful. Thank okay. you. Okay, so where can we find your cookbook? Really so quick. at all three restaurants and at makingitdelicious.com. Makingitdelicious.com. Yes. And finally, let's talk about your advocacy for autism awareness because so, of your precious son. Yeah, my sweetie. He's, he's 11. Sweet. He's 11. Um, his name is James, and he was diagnosed at three years old with autism. So I didn't know anything about autism when we started. Um, I literally, nothing. I didn't know anything about it. It was like, I don't want to say it was the first time I heard of it, but, sure. you know. Right. Um, so after he got diagnosed, I just, I don't know why I felt compelled to do something for him, like to help him, to help me, because I... I didn't even, I didn't know, you know, he was still my little boy, but now we have a whole new chapter that I didn't know anything about, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I started learning and then I was like, wouldn't it be nice to like try to teach other people or yes. in, in the, in the, as I teach other people, I can learn myself. So the biggest thing that I started doing with, you know, the kids with the stories, 
And I got to experience and learn what other families and what other symptoms and what other struggles and strengths other kids have. And even listening to the stories, because some of the kids I did um, stories on them year after year, and just to see their progress with James's progress, and it made me so happy. So it's just been really nice. You know, we have the, um, all the facts about autism in the menu. We have the table cards. So just as someone comes in, especially a family with autism, they see that right away, and they feel like these people, they were yeah, at home. They're at home. They're You're at home. such a good person. So She's that makes giver. me the happiest. That makes me the happiest. Yes. That does. Listen, you're going to be back next week, mm -hmm. and we're going to cook. We're going to make waffles. Yeah, we're going to make some waffles. Yes, yes. Thanks for, for sure. being with me. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Jamie's back next week. We're making waffles, and we'll be right back.